Sadgurubhyo Namaha, Om Sushumna. In all humility and reverence, I bow down to the lotus feet of Paramagurus, Sri Bhoga Siddhar, Sri Mahavatar Babaji, and Pooja Guruma, Her Holiness, Sri 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 Atmanandamaya. Welcome to Sushumna, The Inner Miracles. Shekhar Vemparlagaru is a successful financial services entrepreneur in the United States. He's been practicing Sushumna Kriya Yoga for the past few months. Let us get into a conversation with Shekhar Vempar Lagaru to discover what it truly means to be a Sushumna Kriya Yogi. Om Sushumna, sir. Om Sushumna. Sir, how did you first get introduced to Sushumna Kriya Yoga meditation? Sure. So one of my good friends from San Francisco, Hanuma, asked that I connect with Ganesh Lalam. Uh, Ganesh Lalam and I connected uh, in late March and uh, on a very important day in the state of New Jersey, April 4th, April 5th, uh, he came to my office and the reason it was important was for two reasons really, uh, because I was initiated that day. Okay. But also something else happened on that day. New Jersey had an earthquake, which oh. for many years there was no earthquake. And all of a sudden there was a massive earthquake 20 miles from where we were. That was oh. the epicenter. Okay. And uh, maybe he prophesied or he was prophetic in saying that, you know, important things are about to happen in life, all positive things. So this is something that you should embrace. Okay. And I'm always willing to try something. I'm open to new ideas. Okay. And uh, he initiated me into Sushumna Kriya Yoga. And for 49 days, I religiously, except for certain days when I was traveling, I was only able to do 21 minutes or at midnight, but I did complete the 49 days. And subsequently, I had the uh, high privilege of going to Chidambaram this year. That's, that's great, sir. So initially, when you were introduced to the technique, what was your first feeling? Well, uh, I've never been diagnosed uh, as most entrepreneurs to be ADD. But I would submit to you that I have a very limited span of attention. So I was concerned whether I'd be able to do 49 minutes or 21 minutes because I'm very distracted easily. But this was something that really helped me. Oh, Yes, it helped me in many ways. It helped me really look into myself a little bit more. Uh, Did you yes. experience the difference in the very first session or gradually it progressed? It gradually progressed uh, only because uh, I would not be able to focus. My mind would go back to my work okay. or everything else. Okay. And I suddenly remembered what I had forgotten. Mm -hmm. So it came up. So okay. that helped me in that way. It brought back to focus what I was supposed to do. And uh, this was a great help. So first 49 days are very crucial for the practitioner, sir. So what kept you motivated to be consistent with your practice? Well, once again, I will go back to Ganesh Ji because Ganesh said that uh, this will pave the way and there are certain things that are going to occur in your life uh, which you're getting prepared for. And what I had not known on April 5th was that one of my key employees who was running our wealth management uh, practice, he was the chief investment officer. At age 40, he suddenly passed away. Oh. And uh, that was a real setback. And I had to take charge and take it, take, uh, control over uh, the company all of a sudden because there was a vacuum okay. and the Sushumna Kriya Yoga really helped me because even on the day he passed away I meditated for 49 minutes and it really helped me gather the strength the courage and offer the commitment to take leadership and wow. offer direction and confidence to all our clients uh, because this was a sudden tremor or an earthquake in my life. And uh, just I had completed about four weeks. And this happened. 
and I was more determined to continue the practice because it really helped me during this time. That's wonderful, sir. What do you think is the significance of a guru on a spiritual journey? So the guru is one who shines light on the darkness. Where there is light, there is no darkness. And when there is, dar- when there is darkness, you can't see clearly, you cannot focus properly. So the importance of a guru or a spiritual master or a teacher is most important in anybody's life. And I am lucky that uh, Pooja Guru Mata uh, Atmananda Mai was introduced to me. And since that time, I have been a beneficiary of this Shushumna Kriya Yoga. So with a Guru, you deeply need to feel a bond from within. It's something which is deeply connected to the spirit. Have you ever experienced that bond? Uh, I should say that it has rekindled and reawakened about 40 years ago. Uh, one of my good friends, Hiresh Raisam, who was the publish- publisher of Jayco Publications. Oh, okay. Jayco Publications is the one that uh, published Autobiography of a Yogi. Yes. Hmm. Uh, I had read it in 1990. Okay. And subsequently, I gave many copies to many people. And uh, whenever, whenever I go to California, I always go to Encinatas, home of SRI, Self-Realization Institute. Okay. And I just uh, go and look at the Pacific Ocean and it clears my mind. Oh. There's a certain energy in that space. And I've not been a practitioner of Sushumna Yoga until April 5th, 2024. However, it has always been with me and I have fond memories of reading and rereading that book many times, uh, roughly 40 years ago. So it was there and it just surfaced back into the conscious mind and I'm lucky enough to practice it each day now. That's wonderful, sir. Sir, there are a lot of inner miracles that happen in everyone's lives, especially for those who meditate. Do you have any divine interventions in your life? Miracles happen every day in my life because I'm a man of faith. And I believe and I sincerely think that miracles sometimes are evident in the smallest things we do. And sometimes there are big miracles and that's the aha moment. So since I started practicing, uh, practicing, a number of things have happened. Uh, I was not sure whether I could replace the loss of my chief investment officer. And I just made uh, an intention and an affirmation uh, within two days of his passing. I said, please help me find the right team. And I was also not sure whether I would have the time to go to India Originally, I had booked my flights for three weeks. I canceled them and I rebooked them for one week. And during my absence, I was thinking maybe things are not going to happen. But because of my absence, things started happening. And I actually got a phone call when I was in London, uh, waiting at the lounge from somebody who wanted to join me. He said he had a better person and that I should interview him. And as soon as I came back, I connected with him and he just started last week with our firm. So now we have five people instead of one. So I call that a miracle. There is a definition in Telugu, sir. Manavude Madhavudu, which means the human is God. What is your definition of God? My, my definition of God is essentially what you just said. Uh, Manavde Madhavdu. So, Manav Seva e Madhav Seva. So, I sincerely believe in Seva and helping wherever there is a need for help. And uh, that itself is God's work. So, if you're doing God's work and you're constantly with God, then God is with you. So, did you ever experience any visions in your spiritual journey? 
Yes, I did. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, I suddenly on one of the meditation sessions, I got tremendous clarity okay. uh, about something and it was almost as if the lights were turned on in the room. Wow. And that was not true because uh, it was in the evening and I had actually turned the lights off. Oh. So I, I didn't want to open my eyes because it was so amazing that I wanted it to continue forever. And that was one of the days when I was doing 49 minutes of meditation and it really felt like five minutes. Wow. And I said, the clock must be wrong, but I was in a deeper state uh, that particular evening and I call that a vision. I don't know how to define a vision in any other way, but uh, that is my personal experience. And it's not an easily shareable event because when you talk to somebody and they say, oh, well, it didn't happen to me. It's never happened to me. Uh, so I'm not really looking for it all the time. And I'm not in the gap that it should happen or not happen. I'm just in the moment. And I meditate uh, and just let it be. And things are happening in a very positive way. And I'm very happy for it. Sir, a lot of people that know you say that your humility embodied. How important is humility? Mm -hmm.